Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean. Today, let's solve this legal question. It's palindrome number. Let's go through the question first. Given an integer x, return true if x is a palindrome integer. What does that mean? It means it reads the same backward and forward. For example, one to one reading backward is still one to one, but one to three reading backward becomes three to one. Besides, we do have some edge cases like negative number can never be a palindrome integer, and any number has trading zeros. If we reverse it, the number like ten, it will become zero one, which is one, since one is not the same as ten, so it is not a palindrome. But there's an exception, zero. It is still zero after we reverse it, so it is a palindrome. So don't forget to confirm those edge cases with your interviewer in the real coding session. I'm going to write solution in both JavaScript and Java. You just need to focus on a language you're familiar with. So let's start with the solution with those edge cases first. The very first case we want to handle is the negative number. Always return false if it's less than zero. The second case is the number with trading zeros. If the x mod 10 returns zero, it means no reminders. It tells me the given integer has trading zeros. We will need to exclude the one exception here, which is zero itself. For regular cases, we just need to compare with reversed number versus the original number to see if they are the same. In order to reverse the integer, we are going to take the last digit away from the original number and give it to the reversed number. Let's say original number is one two two one. The reverse number start from nothing. The last digit of the original number is one, so we move it away and give it to the reversed number. Now we have one two two and one. And the last digit, it's two, so we move this two from the original number to reverse the number. Then we have twelve and twelve, which are the same. It also tells us that we do not need to reverse the entire number. We just need to reverse half of the digits so we can get the conclusion. But what if we have odd digit number like one two three two one? We can keep increased reverse the number till it is larger than the original number. Since it just have one digit more than the original number, we know we went through half of the digits. Then we can do the comparison with these two number by remove the last digit of the reversed number. Let's start writing this part. We use while loop here to keep moving digits till the reversed number is larger or equal to the original number. And we do find a comparison by either these two number are exactly the same. Or do the comparison by removing the last digit from the reverse number. That's it for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like it, and then leave the comment to let me know your thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.